This is the Echo Alpha here, showing you how to program your Radio Shack Pro 164 scanner. I will be showing you how to program Motorola Type 2 SmartNet into your scanner. After you turn on your scanner, go to an empty search bank. I chose the 600s because it was my only empty search bank and it's in the middle of my scanner. If you know for sure that your area uses the Motorola trunking system, go to radioreference.com and find all the control frequencies. After you find them, plug in the first control frequencies to the first, to the first starting with least to greatest. After you plug in each, four, each control frequency, name them control channel or whatever you want. After the frequencies are pr programmed into your scanner, make sure your bank is set to close. To check that, press function, then the dot delay button. And on the bottom it should say, bank closed. And when it scans it should have a minus sign. After programming the control frequencies, program the rest of the frequencies into or in order starting after your controls so you should have your controls then the rest of the standard channels going up in order throughout the bank after putting all the channels in your bank scroll down to the control channel that is making the control noise and should show your system ID with the percent press function then trunk it should bring you to a page called ID bank and it will show six if you do it in the 600s, it will show 6-0. Press trunk, you got 6-1, 2, 3, and 4. Make sure the banks, the ID banks that you want to use are set to on. After programming your Motorola IDs that you want to in your banks, you should label them for future use so you know which ones are active when scanning through banks. After having your ID banks labeled, choose which one you want if you would like it to search only the fire and EMS dispatch, like for me in Columbus, Ohio, I want to search my fire and dispatch, I will press function then trunk and it should say ID hold mode and there should be a minus and a T in the upper left. Whenever the channel goes off Whenever it picks up a tone, it'll show the control channel name, what frequency it's on, and what it is. If you would like to scan more than one channel, after doing this, press MAN. You should be back on your control channel. Press FUNCTION, TRUNK. You should have your IDs. And just press SCAN. And it should scan through all the banks you have unlocked. Now I'm asking, did you start at 29 this way?